First, we're gonna start off with moisturizing our lips. You don't wanna be having no dry lips while you try and, you know, while you try and be red velvet. So, some K pop idols don't know what chapstick is. Okay, we know what chapstick is, so we're gonna put it on. But I'm gonna be putting on this rose hip oil lip gloss. I don't wanna put on a lot since I, I'll be wearing lipstick, so just enough. I actually wanna moisturize, and I usually take the out daily. What the? <laughs> the elf daily moisturizer whatever it's really good it's just i don't want to put it on right now because like it's in the night time so i'm just going to take some shea butter and cocoa butter they have really glowy dewy skin glass skin also i did a tutorial on glass skin and we linked above i did these eyebrows so me personally I outline them first. These in the color pop, no filter concealer, and deep dark fifty fifty four. The Outlook pomade. It's a deep for the you know the Anastasia one and I don't really like to go too dark with my eyebrows Just take out the rest of the products and wipe it off in, in the top I'm sorry if I keep looking over oh, this is so annoying but y'all uh, I know I, re I just realized that really bad boy been out for a little minute or whatever and I'm so stupid that's because I didn't have my outfit until like last weekend I did a whole little um video of me reacting to the whole album so y'all can check that out too <laughs> and we in the cards if you guys don't know i do i do do i video i do do videos on me reacting to a whole k-pop album like the first one i ever did was bts love yourself tear their best out of the whole of yourself series i don't care what you guys say this is this is their that was their best album for you First, I prime with the with the what is it called again? Smashbox Pore Minimizer Primer, and then I use the Hard Candy Matte Primer. I use three primers, guys. This is the cheapest one out of both of, them, of all three. Then I use the Smashbox regular one just to get rid of it. I don't like the regular one, but yeah. I know you guys probably like, why do you put on matte primer when you just said that K-pop idol skin are dewy and glowy? Make it make sense or whatever. But guys, just because their skin glowy don't mean I don't get really oily in certain spaces. I just take the Color Pop Concealer again and just spot conceal. Just highlighter and just highlight my face where I would usually highlight at. Just use my finger though. You put on a lot because just go underneath your foundation. I like to use the, the heck? The Fenty Beauty. Um, no filter foundation pro or whatever. I'm in the shade 440. However, sometimes I feel like it don't really match me, my neck, that well. K-pop artists, they don't never be matching their foundation to their neck, you know. It's not, of course, their fault. It'd be like the makeup artist's fault. But at the same time, one and a half pumps. Because we, I said, um, we're not going full coverage. But at the same time... They're very colorist over there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be a certain shade to be accepted by society. Which is, which I don't like, but it's like their culture, you know? Notice about girl groups and their makeup is that they always have like some type of glitter going on. So I make their eyes pop out when they perform on the stage. It's just like a part of their makeup culture. Pressed powder in the Bitch Cosmetics is my Ray Ray palette in the shade Mocha. If I'm like going out and I don't want to be like too out there, I look like I'm dead. I just put on a little bit of this, do this whole routine, and I look fine. I'm gonna prime my eyelid just with a little bit of concealer. Usually I would add more than that, but I'm not doing much. We're doing very basic makeup because Diggies are like a bold lip with basic makeup. 
take this shade called Spice. They use like a brown shade, and that's a nice brown shade for my skin tone. You can use any brown shade for your skin tone. And I'll just tap it since the powder still, I mean, since the um, concealer is still damp. On me, just like a little orangey. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. The Man Eater Mascara from Tarte. For eyes, I'm just gonna take this ColourPop highlighter in the shade Happy Camper, I think. Wait, what is it? I don't even remember. It's been a minute. I don't even got the name on there. And on this e.l.f. concealer brush. <laughs> this dog is going to get up. Oh. And I'm going to just put that at, mainly at the inner part and drag it under. We're going to contour the face. I'm not going too ham. I'm just taking this powder brush and I'm just going to take this the dark shade called French Toast. I think no, the brownie white. Cause you know I say I feel like this don't match me. We stick in the shade faded. This is how it looks for my skin. See me personally, I like to do cream blush and like the stern, the stereotypical Japanese blush style. So we doing that because they be surprised. You know, they were surprised in the music video when they was encountering that little wolf the really bad boy whatever so now we're gonna spray out my our face with the mario badescu cucumber spray it don't really do much for your skin but i feel like it makes your face look more dewy the elf blush gems highlighter is broken so don't mind that first I don't add much of it. I'm gonna take my Laura Geller highlighter in this shade. Gilded honey. The tiny bit. We go a long way. I don't I don't really know if they do this, but that's what I like to do. So they all wear different shades of red. But for me personally, I think this um lipstick, this is the color pop set. Not satin, ultra matte lip in the shade souffle. So me personally, I don't like this color to be too bright. But right now, I feel like this is the perfect shade. So I'm just going to take this amount. And right here, I'm just going to take this amount. This scrunchy. And then on this side, I'm going to take, you guys can see, I'm going through a lot right now. So, y'all better like this video. I'm scared it might be uneven, too. But at the same time, I have braids, which, like, already make it uneven looking. So, I'm just pushing this up as forward as I possibly can. I'm going to try to fluff this up, though. So the back is out. Make sure you guys have a back look. Hope you guys can see. Okay, so this is the outfit. Let me get up closer. So this is the first time I get to see myself wearing this. Let me see. So this shirt is from Forever 21. Just say more on there. I think it's really cute. Oh, I think it fits me well. It's like a crop top. As you guys can see if I look at my arms, it's shown. But I have on these high waisted jeans, also from Forever 21. And this yellow belt is say superb on it. Also from this whole outfit, basically from Forever 21. And this um I have on this heart necklace. And this other like silver gleaming necklace. At first it was gold, but you know, we wear cheap stuff for a long chase color. <laughs> Both of these are from Forever 21. These boots. They got heel on them. Whew. The only thing I don't really like is the hair. 
the hair scrunchies. I like I like the two ponytails, but I don't like the hair scrunchies because I'm mad I don't got like two white ones. But it's cute though. You said what now? Okay, so I really love this outfit. It, of course, it's not like exact to what they be wearing, but like I try to get the incorporate like a bright neon yellow that's in this belt and this white shirt. I feel like it per go perfect with these jeans, but I think this belt really ties the outfit together. It's very long, so it hangs really long. I think it's really cute. Also, you guys will be seeing this in this in the next video I post after this one. My I match my shirt color to my shadow for a week for midterms. Cause this outfit I'm gonna wear out with my friends. I'm not gonna put my hair in two two of these. I might just put it in like a top one. But yeah, I really love this outfit. It's too cute. Was uh, like one I, one thing I tr I was like. Damn, I'm so heavy, I can't even get it right. I'm not even looking at the camera lens. But one thing I was, like, very, like, conflicted on was this shirt. Like, this part right here is very, it's not that stretchy. But it still managed to go over the top of these two. And now, just for a bonus of this, everything. What the heck? Do you even English? Yo, this belt too cute. And now I'm going to dance to Red Velvet's Really Bad Boy for a bonus. I know my hair doesn't really go with it, but like I said before, I feel like the um the music video was kind of like Halloween. And I just got orange because I was trying to finish up the orange face of hair I had. But yeah. Go. I gotta take them out, but that's why you keep trying to get over here by me. But also, I'm not the best dancer ever, okay? So I'm gonna try my best. And if you like it, just give it a thumbs up. Tell me how I can approve or whatever. And if you want to see any more of these and like dancing videos if you want. Just tell me in the comments. Oh my god, that was so cringy. Your girl too stiff, but it's okay. She killed that low key. So I know that was a little stiff at some parts, but I tried my best. And I don't feel like, um... Redoing it and making it perfect, but you know, I think I did. I didn't do that bad because I could have been like, Oh my god, he's a really bad boy. Wait. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Just like it, comment down the next um K pop music video outfit you want to do it inspired by. The more this heart, there's no fabric behind it, so that's my skin. <laughs> but yeah, like I said before, just comment down any. Any more um, K-pop groups you want me to do an inspired outfit? Um, it can be a boy group, it can be a girl group, like whatever you want. I mean, I don't need.